Ed from Pinball Mayhem here. Let's take a look at a Amutronics TV Ping Pong. This game is a Pong clone. This cabinet I got uh, about a year ago and it was uh, in pieces and didn't didn't work too well. Uh, it's a fairly basic looking cabinet, not super common. Hey dude, I did end up repainting some of the satin. Uh, there's that piece on the left side of the door that someone had added on. And it actually has, if you look in here, is a black shroud, like a vacuum formed uh, plastic that's painted satin black that um, that uh, gives that nice effect. But you know, the orange is pretty nice. There's, there's some uh, paint missing from the shroud rubbing on it. But uh, overall, not bad. The knobs were missing when I got it. I didn't know supposed to be there so I ended up putting these knobs on they seem to work pretty uh, pretty well they kind of have a good grab uh, let's, let's, before we turn it on I want to take a look at the back side so unlike a, an arcade game now I mean you think of this is the beginning of the arcade world here's the uh, here's the logo Amutronics 03528 2 amps um, so they have a, a door in back for the monitor and a door in front for uh, the rest of the access you can see again the back side of that shroud and one thing I had to do is the tabs that hold the shroud on on both sides were busted so I ended up using a piece of uh, PETG which I was able to bolt to that uh, to uh, both sides and, and kind of maintain it and uh, this is a uh, black and white television that's been modified internally parts have been cut things on the inside have been removed and it's been hardwired to be more of a, c a component video so we got our ground for our sound and our component we got our video signal and our sound. I decided to label things. And uh, even on the uh, the top, because it's a television, the brightness, the contrast, and the volume are up on top. And the left side, you can barely see it, is where your H uh, hold and vertical hold are. Those adjustments were on the outside of TVs in the 70s. And this is a board, this is original, the board that clamps it down with two threaded rods bent over and uh, they go into a hole in the bottom. Now these holes were actually smashed out. So I ended up having to re-glue that one up. This one was original and I, I put a block of wood on the bottom of a quarter inch plywood and drilled a hole through it just so that it had something to press on and I also put a washer on so this doesn't happen again. Now to get to that adjustment, the, uh, the issue is I have to actually take this rod off. So I have to loosen both wing nuts from the front side, pull this rod out and then I can get my hand in there just to hit the vertical and horizontal hold. One, two issues I have with this was spotty sound and that hold wasn't holding. So I replaced two vacuum tubes inside here that allowed me to uh, get the sound working good and also get the uh, the, the hold working. It sometimes needs a little tweak and adjustment, but not often. Now there's a fan directly below that. So I'm going to put this back on before I switch it on. Over here, let's move around to the front side, close up of the wood grain, uh, where we can see there's, there's some um, of the Formica missing on the top edge. Let's look at the left side. You can see it, it's missing back there. Cabinet on the left is in it's in pretty good shape for its age. You gotta remember it's 73 and it survived. The top board had a crack in it, uh, and because I couldn't remove it because it's rabbited in, I was able to glue this and support on the back so it's not um, you know moving freely anymore before I repainted it. All right, so we got our signal. Notice it takes a little time for it to come up, and there's no light behind this, it's just art. Um, also, uh, I ended up replacing the potentiometers. They were trash. I got some from James Co. Some recommended replacements that Ken, Ken Layton re recommends that's on uh, KLOV. Uh, he had, the part numbers are still valid. I put new ones of those in. Um, not dirt cheap, but not super expensive like the ABs. So those work. And we got the roll doing coin door. Uh, I did leave this unlocked so I could open it up without much trouble. And let's look at what's on the inside. So. Coin door, we have a meter, 45, 14 plays. Uh, looks like a, a slam switch at some point. Our mechanism, which is a roll down mech, coin mechanisms, coin mech. <laughs> Franklin Park, Illinois. More from Franklin Park. And uh, I just hit the switch. And here's the coin box. So I actually have the original coin box in this, which is pretty cool. It looks like it could have had a lock in here or something. 
So, uh, tour of the back. There's nothing on the right. There's my baggie of parts I replaced. We got the Pong clone board, which is actually, I believe, chip for chip, an exact copy of Pong. So troubleshooting is uh, pretty easy to figure out. And I put new all electrolytic capacitors on it. And um, there's a transformer that uh, does handle isolation for the monitor, which is important with this one. Uh, our on-off switch and a few fuses. So let me, uh, you can hear that the sound works. So if I hit the, the start switch, should get, see if I can, uh, now I'm working with a little bit of lag here. I try to look in the phone and do, and do it. So I'm not doing really good with not standing up. There we go. Ooh. Uh, that left player is not doing really good. So that's kind of, look, um, we do got a lot of light in this room. So uh, the monitor is pretty clear. Of course, monitors don't video well anyway. Uh, but uh, let's see the ball douncing and the numbers look pretty good so uh pretty exciting that i was able to take this unit that was in pieces and be a uh, custodian of it for a little while it's a little quieter with that fan off and be able to uh to play it and enjoy it i am now with the knowledge i learned from this i'm going to be building a uh, pong prototype and uh passing this on to someone else who is going to enjoy it as much as i did in their collection so Thank you for watching. Make sure to check out our other videos and find us on Facebook.